Frank's Laboratory. In my ancestors' tales, water was the lifeblood of our world. A resource so abundant, we just took it for granted. As decades passed, it slowly became scarce and fought over. Nations waged wars, friendships shattered. Water started turning into something more. It became... everything. Today, only a few scattered souls remain. Once claimed through bloodshed, water is now gambled in a game of strategy and chance. Every decision is a bet, where victory brings life and defeat, despair. The choices we make today echo the battles of yesterday, shaping the fate of tomorrow. Will you secure the future, or will you let it slip away? like water through your fingers. Hello and welcome to Frank's Laboratory. If you liked today's video, please like and subscribe. Today we're going to be talking about Vestiges, Fallen Tribes. It's a game on Steam that is about $15. It's a auto chess um, auto battler with deck building. So you have a deck of cards, and you use the um, cards to build units on the battlefield where positioning is key. The units will spawn and automatically attack the um, enemy unit, depending on which side of the map you're on. There's currently three maps, um, I believe nine solo missions for the single player. Um, decks are comprised of about 20 cards, which is... Uh, just enough to get through the uh, HP of your enemy. Um, PvP is set across turns where you're trying to reduce the enemy's HP value by 100. Um, the way you do that is by having units that survive the round. Units that survive the round have their HP calculated and then that's subtracted from your opponent. Uh, the game has uh, decent settings, um, nothing too uh, complicated, so don't expect to fine tune the game to your liking too well. Um, the game features about nine solo missions, which allow you to uh, experience easy to hard difficulty on the different missions and get introduced to the different units that are in the decks. Uh, you can customize decks. I haven't tested the limit of decks that you can have, but there isn't a whole lot of uh, different cards that you're able to put into the deck quite yet. Um, from what I was able to tell, there's four units that are going to be added and possibly utility cards that are going to be added to both the Illustrian and the Adari sides. Um, right now you have uh, the Adaris, which are the red cards, and the Illustrians, which are the blue cards. The Adaris are kind of like uh, gladiatorial Rome, and then you have the Illustrians, which are kind of like the uh, Persian Empire, and um, Basically, everybody's battling for water on this planet, so you are going to take uh, control of one of these factions and battle it out, either in PvP or in the missions, to uh, get water control uh, over the, the planet that has been turned into a desert. Um, for the Adaris, you have Gladiators, Legionnaires, um, Sagittarius, Protectors, Ballistas, the Praetorium, and Matria the Ruthless. The Illustrians have Dune Gazers, which are really strong, Mine Hunters, Sandstorms, Arwihu, the <laughs> it's a goat. And he's he's goaded. He he transports or teleports around the battlefield just doing uh destruction everywhere. Um you have the two utility cards, Lucky Pick and Tactical Retreat. They both uh basically do what you would expect them to do. Lucky Pick lets you draw two more cards, and then Tactical Retreat lets you return a card to your deck and um retrieve all the money from it. 
Um, in the deck builder, it's pretty easy to use. You just left click or right click the amount of cards that you're able to uh, put into your deck and there's soft limits for each. Um, I was able to get the game to run in um, VR in QuestLink on the MetaQuest 3. Uh, you just, uh, when you launch the game from Steam, you just launch it in open XR mode. And depending on what you have set for your default XR runtime, that's going to be the uh, that's going to be the VR uh, that takes over. Um, uh, it was I found that the VR was pretty good. I mean, you have uh, your arm isn't connected at the shoulder, but I mean, you have the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh um, arm, and you can summon Exodia and Pot of Greed. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding, but. Uh, yeah, you have uh, healing units for the Adari. I just put down a Cura there. Um, the Guardians or Gladiators and Legionnaires are um, uh, you're able to take every unit and uh, basically decide if you want to place it horizontally or um, uh, vertically by the press of a button. And the Illustrians, those tornadoes that you see on the map, that's actually from a, a, a tornado creation machine, the Sandstormer, and it does a ton of damage to uh, uh, your units if it's caught in the tornado, so your positioning is key, like they say in the uh, on the Steam page. Um, I guess the backstory for this game is the planet that the Illustrians and the Adari live on is a planet that has been subjected to uh, major desertification because of uh, climate um, change, because the, the people weren't taking care of stuff, I guess. And <laughs> now there's very little water on this desert planet which uh you, you i guess you could equate it to arrakis uh you know dune um you get that kind of vibe from uh, the world and the, the game that is or the, the world that these factions are set in um the adari uh protector that you see on the screen now that is a unit that is able to deploy a shield it can take about six shots from the dune gazers uh pre-patch uh the damage for the dune gazers hasn't been reduced yet but they were really strong because their cooldown was 5.5 seconds and now it's six um but at the start of the round they get to shoot right so if you have a protector out front he might lose his shield entirely um but yeah my time in vr uh on this game wasn't bad i had a, i had a lot of fun uh doing the missions um had to repeat a lot of missions because there is a high failure rate for when you're first starting out so you'll be clicking the retry button consistently um i ended up playing uh pvp against my brother and uh those games were really good until he started uh taking the illustrians and and building the doom gazers uh they they're just set up so well that um you have a hard time taking out the snipers but yeah, I was able to complete the nine solo missions and uh, the nine solo missions were, were really good. This is a illustrian gameplay in standard, so uh, non-VR, and you're able to uh, position your units just as well as you would in, in virtual reality. Um, the Sand Riders are a really nice unit because they're able to uh, run freely around the battlefield and engage and kite uh, enemy units so you'll have uh, situations where you have an entire uh, group of gladiators or uh, what are they called legionnaires that will just chase these uh, horseback uh, sand riders across the map and it, it saves you a lot of time it's it's pretty interesting to watch how the AI works uh, with the sand riders shadow blades are a pretty unique unit because you can deploy them in the back uh, backfield and the Gorgon um, for the Illustrians is able to turn a entire group in front of them into stone, which is really cool and uh, pretty powerful if you can get it to work. But then again, the Illustrians Dune Gazers are the backbone of the Illustrian force. So placement is key. And uh, I really wish that the Adari had a unit that could deploy in the backfield like the shadow blades can for the illustrians because that would make the adaris even more deadly the two hero units for the adari of the illustrians uh for the adari you have this uh materi the wolf and um it has a strong bite attack but it doesn't really seem to have a whole lot of hp it goes down pretty quickly but when it does die 
it releases a uh, buff for all of the Adari units on that side. The Illustrians have a goat, um, I still can't pronounce it, but it's Yawale. And the goat is able to teleport around the battlefield and come down from the sky and basically attack uh, multiple points on the, on the battlefield. Kind of seems to me like the Adari should have that because sometimes the Doom Gazers are really hard to take out. So, you know, if, if they were switched, I could see that being more beneficial for the Adari because then they would have some kind of backfield attack. But, you know, Ballistas, when they hit, as you just saw, they both missed. Um, they're extremely strong because they can take out entire groups of Illustrian troops. You can fight um, Adari versus Adari. You can fight Illustrian versus Illustrian. And I'm sure that uh, when the PvP games were happening in the initial stages of the game, that the majority of it was Illustrian versus Illustrian because the Doom Gazers were just so strong. Um, but I can't really say that the Adari are, you know, completely, um, you know, completely shut out of the of the meta for the game right now because the protector is able to make it so that they can close the gap. But you're only allowed to have three of them per deck, and they cost two hundred to to spawn. What I'd really like to see is if you could take control of a unit uh, during each round and uh, basically micromanage it to the point where you're able to, uh, you know, either control its movement from top down like an RTS or go into first person and actually uh, influence the battlefield uh, via your own skills with uh, the unit. Might be a little bit too overpowered and uh, also probably a huge cost in development, but um, it would be interesting to see. For sure if you could do that i would like to see that um game's pretty cool i mean if you ever played mechabellum or any kind of auto battler like uh i, I don't know um, yeah, mechabellum really stands out but uh there's there's a ton of uh auto chess uh auto battlers these days this is uh falling right into that category and adds a uh, el element of deck building as well um my honest opinion is the game is good it, it plays well. It's fun to play in VR. The uh, only hangouts I have is that the Illustrians and Adari seem kind of imbalanced. I would like to see a little bit more um, balancing for the units, but I would also like to see more units, especially for the um, <clears throat> Adari sides, because they have these unit gaps. Um, I, I don't want the uh, sides to be like completely equal. You know, I don't want it to be like a command and conquer scenario where you know you um every 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 side kind of feels the same even though uh you know they look different but the balance of the game is is pretty well just the same game's pretty exciting though i would like to see maybe a third faction third faction release so, you know more cards maybe the uh ability to uh take that third faction and mix it into the adari or illustrian decks but not the other way around where you couldn't put adari or illustrian cards together but maybe like a third neutral faction that could be you know like a mercenary faction where they can have um uh you can you can incorporate these into your illustrian or adari decks that would uh allow for a little bit more versatility and then also have them uh be able to have their own deck on their own with uh you know no intermixing of cards unit animations could use a uh, little work uh so far what i've noticed is that everything just kind of slides around like the uh, sand riders on screen right now there's there's no gallop to them they're just kind of like sliding on a like a stone stone uh tablet um they do have attack animations but you know movement animations would make it a little bit more um uh immersive and i'd like to see that uh Game's early access though, so uh, I'm sure there's a lot of stuff that's planned, but what you get so far in the um, mode uh, modes that are available, it's uh, pretty good. I mean, you get to play like a, a strategy game with uh, auto chess and it's able, you're able to um, you know, use uh, diversive strategies based on the amount of cards that you put in your deck. The 20 card limit is um, pretty good i would like to have the ability like in private matches to like increase hp values 
So, or maybe even have um, decks with a larger amount of cards once they add more cards to the game, which would make things really cool. Currently right now it can be kind of difficult to find a PvP match unless you have a friend that um, has the game as well. Uh, I would like to see like a uh, pure AI mode for like a, a custom game, right, where you can um, fight against the AI, because right now there's a training mode that doesn't have like an AI opponent, you take control of the both sides, which can make things complicated. But uh, that's going to do it for today. If you liked today's video, please uh, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Thanks for, for coming by Frank's Laboratory. Frank's Laboratory.